So on behalf of the CFC, I'm pleased to share with you our latest investment update. Despite the challenges of the last 12 months, the CEFC committed in excess of a billion dollars worth of capital into the clean energy sector. Alongside our co-investors, this contributed to some 4.2 billion of investment in projects across the country. As a specialist investor, we continue to extend our reach over the course of the year. We launched Australia's first green bond fund. We made our first green home loan and we arranged and funded the first project financing of a large scale battery in South Australia. Last year, we also made a further investment in the waste to energy sector in WA. We deepened our engagement in the clean tech innovation sector, making an investment in soil carbon sequestration as well as electric vehicle recharging. And of course, we continue to invest in the renewable energy sector to produce a cleaner, more reliable grid. All these investments, once built, will abate something like a million tonnes of carbon per annum. And this year, we saw a record $942 million of capital return to the CEFC, a reflection of our robust investment process, giving us capital to reinvest in projects across the country. Our commitment to the clean energy transition has never been stronger. We will continue to invest to support a cleaner, firmer electricity grid. And with the announcement of the $300 million advancing hydrogen fund, the CEFC is looking to support Australia's developing hydrogen sector. On behalf of everyone at the CEFC, I want to thank all those that we've worked with over the course of the year, particularly our co-investors, but collectively everyone's shared commitment to reducing Australia's emissions.